Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Avorian with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to our battle carrier, as a lot of people called it in the previous video, and honestly, I do quite like the ring of that. Either way, though, today we are going out and we are trying to get one more of the Zotan artifacts. In today's video, we are after the artifact delivery artifact, which I believe is artifact number five. And if it's not, it's number eight. It's one of the two. The two we have left is the smuggler artifact and the artifact delivery. And the reason why we're going for the delivery quest, which trust me is a lot more battles than it is actually delivery, is because you can only pick it up from bulletin boards near this lovely barrier. And so since we're here, we may as well try to find it. Now off camera, I've been a little bit busy upgrading the vessel. We now have much stronger shields. I believe there's something like 221,000 all by themselves, which honestly is still a little bit low for our size, but that just happened because we upgraded it in such a rush. As time goes on, that shield will increase drastically as we have the resources to upgrade it. I've also added a larger computer core, now made out of trinium, which has gave us one extra slot. So as you can see, we now have 47 guns, including one really, really weird gun. This one over here, or perhaps it's on the other side. It's somewhere weird. There it is. This one here is a common Neonite that does 2,000 damage per second. And honestly, although the energy increase is, pre is pretty dire, it's not that bad. So for not much of an increased energy consumption, it's doing 2,000 damage per second, which is really weird. And then I have more lightning guns everywhere else, leading our firepower to be 18,000. But once again, it's best not to look at that too much since a lot of the cooldown based weapons do give you far too much firepower than they actually really do give you. Either way though, with all that out of the way, let's continue onwards and let's see if any of these bulletin boards will give us what we need. So let's start off with you. But actually, before we do that, I should also mention I have started work on the bottom of the craft. As you can see, we now have a new layer of those spikes. Sorry to people who don't like them, I absolutely adore them, so we are keeping them. And I have also added new engines and there's the computer core itself. Currently exposed, but that's because I am going to add some armor as we get resources and try to make it look a bit better. You there, turret factory. No bulletins available. Perfect. How about you? Nope. How about you? Yes! That's the one. Looking for Zotan artifacts. Difficulty hard. Reward 100 million. Obviously, we're not getting that. We're actually getting an, an artifact out of it. In times like these, where the Zotan threat is looming at all times, we are trying to protect you. Dangerous artifacts of the Zotan have been found all over the galaxy, causing great harm to everyone near them. Yeah. Should you find any of those artifacts, you must bring them to us. We will take care of them and destroy them to eradicate the Zotan threat and to make this galaxy a better place. Even if your life may be at risk, what is your life compared to the safety of trillions? You can find one of our outposts at this address. Address this coordinates. We will pay a reward of 100 million credits for each delivered artifact, the Brotherhood. I will accept this. Now, according to the internet, I have tried to look into this the least possible, but of course, spoilers do come through. The bosses we're going to end up facing because of this are rather interesting, all taking part with the holy trinity of MMOs. One will be a healer, one will be a tank, and then the other two are variants of DPS, or something like that. Either way, it's very, very curious. Uh, let's go into our mission log. Here we are. Where is that exactly? Okay, good, so not too far away at all. So I'll just go ahead and keep on warping over there, and once I find something interesting, I will be right back. And then we fight the Brotherhood for control of the artifacts and so on and so forth. This is becoming very RPG-like. I have said it before, but honestly, this game is breathtaking sometimes. The design of the game is really, really fantastic. Not only does it really make you believe you are in a very specific part of the galaxy, you're actually somewhere that's real, not just floating in what is essentially giant tiles. It also has such lovely art styles to everything. Just 
really happy to be playing this game right now. That's all. A little bit of gushing. And can I get there already? Yay for an improved hyperspace core. Now, before we jump... No, after we jump, as soon as we finish jumping, I'm going to swap out this for our shield upgrade. Since we are now already on 221,000 resting, adding any bonuses to that is pretty darn good. And we have a lot of firepower. Here we are, our shield module has just been equipped, not the best one in the world, in fact I would almost say it's pretty darn bad, but it's the best one we have. We do have some which are more powerful, but these remove a percentage of my generated energy, whereas this one removes honestly not that much at all, especially since we are using the Zotan artifacts to cut down on our energy use, which is what's enabling us to use almost pure power weapons anyway. Now, if we look at these wreckages, do they have anything in them? And by the way, all of these wreckages, totally not suspicious. And yes, I have seen that lovely beacon. Iron and Zanion, a lot of Zanion. I may stay around here to scrap everything after we're done, assuming we win. Now, just in case we don't win, I'm going to plot a very, very swift escape before we interact with this beacon. A scanner beacon. I'm assuming it's going to scan me for the artifact. You know, headhunters, it is pretty rude to interrupt someone who's on an epic quest. Also, why would you get so close to me when I clearly have brawler-type weapons? Who's next? Okay, one more headhunter, and I'm guessing a hyperspace blocker. Yes, indeed. Well, let's just remove these from the fight then, shall we? And finally, the last fellow, say goodnight. So many explosions, so many very low quality modules. And a chain gun. Now there's bandits. Why can't you guys just let me do my quest? This may end up being one of the quickest quests I've done so far, except for the fact I keep on being distracted. Thank you. There's one more bandit left, isn't there? Of course there is. Hello. Good. Now there's only a mobile merchant which happens to hate me. Well then, let's get this started. Let's use the beacon scanners online. Activate. Scanning. Success. Calling the collector. Please be patient. Extraction will begin soon. Hello there, fellows. Tank em. Well, people were correct then. There is indeed a tank. With... Yeah, that is a fair bit of health and a fair bit of shield. However, almost no firepower. 20.6. Maybe this one will be a little bit easy. I can't believe it! A bulletin actually worked! Who are you? You are looking at the first people in centuries who will fly into Zotan territory. Once we've collected all the artifacts, we'll be able to open the gateway and recover the Zotan's treasure and technology. But you won't have to worry about that. All that's important is that you bought us one of the artifacts. You will now give it to us. And what about my reward? Oh man, look at this one! Did you really think you'd get a reward? Absolutely not, but seeing your low firepower, I would recommend you give me a, a very big reward and run away. We lied! And we don't want any witnesses of or competition. Of competition or competition. Boys and girls, let's blow this maggot to space dust and get the artifact. Hello! Okay, so you're the healer. Let's go for the healer first. Definitely a lot of health. Although, very, very little firepower from the enemies. Yeah, this hasn't scaled very well. I'm sorry, Re Reconstructo, but you're going down, sir. I'll kill the tank last. Then we have the Hull Breaker, which does have a lot more power than the others. Hello, Hull Breaker. Oh, okay, apparently we can just start talking to him again. Okay, we shouldn't have done that. There we go. Try again. Ooh, I see an exotic that just dropped. 
Also, yes, I was missing almost all of my shots there. I mean, they do have quite a lot of shield, although down goes my power reserve as well, so let's just hold off for a second. I've got too many things now which take up power, especially since I've upgraded my shield, so I do need some new generators very, very soon. Or maybe even solar panels. So the hull breaker has, by the looks of things, rail guns. Which makes complete sense, considering railguns do a lot of bonus damages to hull. Yeah, I need better generators and a much larger amount of energy storage. You're Tankum, and then you are Shieldbreaker, who's using Plasma. Okay. And... Down you go. First one... Oh, sorry, well, second one down. The first one that's actually hurting me. No, no, focus on, on the tank last. He's doing basically no damage to you. You may as well focus on the guy trying to take out our shields. I am blaming the new lightning guns. They do ramp up far, far too quickly. In terms of how much energy they use, of course. But they look so cool, though, being all, all on the front spikes of my, she of my shield, of my ship. I can't talk today. To be fair, these things do have, like, 290,000 plus shield and hull. It's like trying to kill one of me each time, essentially. This is taking way longer than I wanted. What I really need to do is allow all the weapons to completely cool down. So let's just wait for a second. Let's just pick up some loot. There's one of the exotics. As I just kind of ignore the fact I'm being attacked from two different sources. Crashing into the corpse of their friends. Oh wow, look at that. That is a really good gun. Thank you very much to the Hullbreaker there. There we are, that's better. The weapons have cooled off now, so they're not overcharged. Down goes you, and I'm assuming then you'll give me an exotic... something or other. Really? Another railgun? Huh, I expected you to give me plasma, and again, a really good one as well. So two amazing railguns there. And now we need to kill the tank. This is going to take a while. I've just removed the really inefficient laser we were talking about in the previous video, and I've added the two railguns. So now we should be doing more damage, actually, and taking up far, far less power. And by the looks of things, that's exactly what's happening. Absolutely wonderful. And as soon as we get through the shield, with all of our bonus hull damage stuff, we should absolutely mince this fellow. There we go. Oh, look how much faster that is. We're not particularly good against shields right now, but we're really, really good at tearing up hull. And I didn't run out of power this time. Almost. And down he goes. We get the achievement against the odds. And there is our Zotan artifact. And you indeed did drop an exotic yourself. What did you get me? A laser turret, it's exotic, it does bonus damage versus shields, and it costs very little energy, and it's... yeah, that's fine. Very low increase. Very low increase in energy, decent-ish damage, decent range. It's not the best laser in the world, but definitely better than some of the ones we have equipped currently. So I will be equipping that very, very soon indeed. So there we are, one more of the Zotan artifacts is now ours. Let's have a quick look -see at it. There it is, number five. So now we need number eight, which I believe is started at any smuggler's den. So what I'm going to do is just go back to where we've already came from, over here, since it's nice and safe over there, and we're at least going to start that mission. After that, we've got all of the artifacts we need, and so all we need to do is upgrade our ship to be ready to go into the core, because that's a very, very scary place indeed. And we're finished.
Now, did I get an exotic from the first enemy we killed? I should have, I believe. There we are, the exotic repair turret. It's not all that good, but we can use it as part of research, of course, to remove this and make a new legendary gun. So, I'll be right back once we're at a smuggler's den so that we can start off the next mission. This may take a while. I really need to look into getting a load more of the hyperspace upgrades, in particular the higher quality ones. Now, thankfully, we have enough slots that we can very easily do something like this which is all going to stack, so as you can see, my hyperspace cooldown is now only 14 seconds. But if we had some better ones, like the one we normally use, the exotic, that could be brought down much, much further. Let's add you as well. Now it's zero seconds. You know, I don't think that's going to actually be zero seconds, but if it is, let's find out. Let's wait until we get the nav computer calculated. That normally takes a while, though, since we are going so far away. The further away you select, the longer it takes for the computer to figure it out. So let's just wait on it. It'll only take a second, hopefully. Jump route is calculated, and there we go. Okay, so, yep, the cooldown is very, very low, but sadly it still takes some time to actually calculate. But even so, we should be back very, very soon. Let's jump all the way over there, and then go back over, and then we can go to the smuggler's hideout, which is over here, or the one over there. Whichever one we so desire. And this time it'll take less than half an hour to get to the other side. Although I still would like some more of these. Increasing the jump range and decreasing the cooldown would be lovely. It only took two more jumps and we are already back. With all of the upgrades, we expand our hyperspace reach to 30, which is actually further than I'm currently showing, because I've already replaced all of the upgrades once again for the Zotan artifacts. If we get a load of the high-quality hyperspace upgrades, we could jump in massive excess of maybe 50. It would be absolutely amazing. Either way, though, here is the smuggler, so let's just begin this quest line. Hello there, smuggler. Greetings. Greetings. Interested in earning a lot of money for easy work? Yes. Good. All you have to do is take this cargo and bring it to the checkpoint I just sent you. Should be easy as pie. Gained one suspicious goods. Let's have a quick look see our suspicious good. When did we get stolen plastic, books, tea, processors, oil, and leather? That is a random assortment of stolen stuff I've randomly grabbed at some stage. I'm going to dump all of these, I feel. Oh, actually, no. Why, why would I dump them? I'm right next to the smuggler's hideout. You can literally sell stolen goods here. So I'm going to sell the stolen goods here. I don't remember getting that. I must have shot a civilian ship at some stage. But I really can't remember doing that. And it's such a random assortment of stuff I've got. Nope, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, yeah, we have way more mass than we used to. Breaking is difficult. This time, let's, net, let's not underestimate just how mass heavy we are. Also, look at how big we've got now. This is a rather large station, and we're a good third of its size. No wonder we can't use warp gates anymore. Although someone, actually no, a few people did tell me a trick that what you can do is save your blueprint and then essentially tear parts off your ship, which give you back 100% of the credits and everything else, go through the warp gate, and then reload the, the blueprint. A little bit cheaty, but honestly, it is a very silly system, so I almost agree with doing that. Sell stolen goods, okay? You can have one stolen book, two pieces of leather, two pieces of plastic, five processors, one barrel of raw oil, and of course, five pieces of tea. That must have been the most random haul to sell. Uh, so where are the coordinates anyway? I was not paying attention. Also, suspicious. This good has a suspicious energy signature and can't be used or sold at normal stations. You might get in trouble when someone is controlling you. Bruh. That's a really weird way of saying things. Okay, either way though. Missions. Log. A stranger gave you, you... You have 60 minutes. Okay, show location. 
That's not too far away. I think, though, I am actually going to call the episode here. It's a little bit soon, but after this mission, we're going to make preparations for the end game. So I feel like this is a good part to end it now. We've just finished one of the artifacts. We can finish the second one in the next episode and then start preparing to go through the Galactic Center, which will be a really, really difficult process in which we have to kill the Guardian. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Avorian is a series you would like to see continued in the future. And of course, the fact that I'm cutting the video short does mean this will be out earlier, probably on Sunday, rather than on Monday. Hurrah for earlier releases. So I'll see you very soon in the next episode. We're doing some smuggling really close to the galactic center.